everybody and welcome to my first ever let's play <laughs> it feels a little weird to be all alone but i know the saplings of the future are here with me hello i see you in the premiere chat over here hopefully this is a premiere otherwise this is about to get really awkward hey i see you you sitting at your computer in your bed on your laptop i see you <laughs> go on now hello hello and welcome as stated this is my first ever let's play i am doing a let's play of outer wilds because i'm away currently spending time with the kieran family but i have left you with Pre-recorded Fauna, who is me? Hello, it is I, Fauna of the past. Fauna of approximately one month ago is here. How have things changed, samplings of the future? <laughs> but I will be playing Outer Wilds and uploading it while I'm gone. This is an old school style let's play. Basically a stream, but I'm alone. Where are you guys? <laughs> I just have to hope that you'll be watching. But I think Outer Wilds is a good game to do this with because it is a game that may be vulnerable to spoilers and there's nobody here to spoil it for me. Just me and my lonesome and a cup of tea. Also, I'll have you know when I booted this game, you know what it told me? It said to me, best experienced with a gamepad. And you know I was feeling smug about that. <laughs> so yes, I'm playing with controller. Very excited. And you know the other thought I had when I opened it is that this music, this sentimental sounding menu music, is it gonna make me cry when I finish the game? Like coming back and listening to this, it already gives me sort of a nostalgic feeling and I haven't even played the game. It's that kind of song. I was just sitting here listening to it. But without further ado, let's let's play. I know it says Echoes of the Eye, but I sure hope this is the base game. I think so. We'll see. Loading. Are they are they generating up the planets for me? I don't know anything about this game except it's a space game. An exploration game, presumably. Wake up. Oh. We napping under the stars? That looks like spore up there. Are there any not pickles running around up there? All right. Oh, oh we can brew some marshmallow. What are my? Oh, sorry, I'm a Nintendo gamer. Oh, extend. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it? <laughs> I can't see it. Is it eat or toss? It's not done yet. I'll eat it. Oh, we can... Oh, don't stick it. Don't stick it in. Hold on. I promise I know how to roast marshmallows. Up here. You don't stick it into the fire. Oh, no! Oh. I just want the perfect... Mm, okay, Fine, I'm not a marshmallow roast. Is this garlic? Oh no, they're marshmallows. Oh, I have a light! Wait, this changes everything! I will be able to see. No! How my marshmallow is cooking. There must be like an achievement for this. Poor everyone whose favorite game is Outer Wilds and they're watching this and they're like, oh my god, she's never gonna play the game! She's stuck on the marshmallow roasting! For how long? That's fine. This is... <laughs> this is sometimes the experience you need. Wait, is that good? No, longer. Oh! I ruined it. I ruined it again. It could have been perfect. Roasting marshmallows requires a degree of patience which I do not have. Apparently, it's turning into like a... <gasps> no! We can do this. I understand now. It's not gonna get the crispy bubbly edge that you want 
That's perfect. Okay, I didn't get an achievement. Let's play the game. I keep looking over here, expecting you guys to be there. Where is Sadlings? Hug to slay. Oh, you're cute. There's our pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are. Leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? I'm... Am I ready? You sure you fixed the retro rockets? That was only a problem one time, and then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway, you'll need to just get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. At the observatory. Do I have people to say goodbye to? Wait, did I spend so long that the sun came out? What is this? Is this the sun? I spent all night roasting marshmallows. Oh, I can jump. Wait, what's over here? Is this the observatory? I wish to not progress the game. Oh, is that my rocket? Over there, that's how I get to my rocket, maybe? I stayed up all night roasting marshmallows. Jump is hold and release. Mika. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not change your mind. Hey, I'm still going. Better be, it's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. It's really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? So this is just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Wanna try it? Fly the model ship. Oh no. Are they gonna make me actually fly it? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This surely does not bode well. I can do this. <gasps> Is this what it's gonna be like? <laughs> I'm certainly doomed. Oh. Oh dear. Oh please, am I gonna have to fly like this? Oh no, we're tumbling. Surely. Flying a spaceship can't be this hard, right? It's not like it's rocket science, right? Well, is he gonna be mad? Or she? Are they gonna be mad if we break their model rocket? Ah! Straight to the ground! Hold on, reset. Oh no! <laughs> the camera zoom! Okay, 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 okay! Oh, I like how the sound... Wait, did I do it? There's water! Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Left trigger and right trigger! Wait, I was missing the key feature! You need the left trigger and the right trigger. <laughs> Can I fly to this planet? How far away is it? It's probably pretty far away. Look, now, do not worry. Oh. Are we going into orbit? Captain Fauna is gonna do just fine. Zoom. This is right bumper. Oh. Is <laughs> Have I done something? Have I done something? Okay. I had to turn my fan on because it's warm in the closet. I have hot tea, which it adds 
plus 10 comfort, but also plus 5 warmth. Okay. Oh, we're down here. Oh my gosh, I was like throwing my thing all around you. Porphy, hey, hatchling. Here, you're leaving us. Am I you? I would classify you as an alien, but I suppose you would not classify yourself as an alien. You just are. But maybe I'm an alien too. You return, let's you, me, and Gosson open up a bottle of the good stuff. Let's seek an adventure amongst one star. I'm sure the other stars are too far away. It's this delicious sapphire and more naughty digestive challenge. We seem a little bit reluctant to get going. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Thank you. I will do my best. What is this? Mini golf? Are they threatened if I point my, my thing at them? Maybe not. <laughs> You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, the space programs certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing few flash, fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Oh no. The character is linked to our spy shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. Forward snapshot? Rear view snapshot? Wait, can I see where? Is it slowly going over to the village? Is that the village? Bumper not work? Wait, that's not good. <laughs> Is my right bumper broken? Uh oh. We were not expecting the technical difficulties. I'm guessing the right bumper is supposed to do something. We can, we can fix this. We have the power of editing on our side. Is that why the zoom also doesn't work? Certainly doesn't seem to be working. This is OBS. Pause recording. <laughs> I think there's no pause recording button um right bumper wait it's working in the menu my right bumper how curious Is this the village? Do I just assume that it will work <laughs> when I need it? Oh no. Episode one of Fauna's first Let's Play. And are we off to a bumpy start? <laughs> Where's my village? There, there it is, right? Give me points, I did it. I used up all the film, also. All right. Oops. Oops, oops. Uh-oh. Marls, it's lunch day, huh? How's gonna miss you? I know of a how in a science fiction setting. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and that platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new less flammable one? Big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Not 
nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. No cutting down trees. What? No, I just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know, specifically me. <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was when we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? We hatch from eggs. Hello. Hello there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you need any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about travelers' instruments. Oh, sure, I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's shirts, drums, rebecks, banjo, gabros, flute. Feldspar's harmonica, of course, though Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday where they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Oh, that's sad. Anyway, you hear music in space. That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. I feel like company could always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Trouble is, every time a Harthian leaves for outer space, there's one less musician in our orchestra. What instrument do I play? The kalimba? Where's the observatory? It's questions like that that make us worried about you going up into space on your own, you know. Observatory is up the path behind the waterfall. There are a couple of signs marking the way, but really you just keep going and then hook a right when you get to the zero-g cave. Up the path behind the waterfall. Hook a right when you get to the zero-g cave. Did I talk to everybody? I'm in the mini golf course. I don't think I missed anybody. It's a pretty game. Cozy atmosphere. Have I been here for like a whole day wandering around talking to people? I really don't want to go to space, huh? In reality, I don't want to go to space. Only in video games. I'm not brave enough. I like Earth. <laughs> Hello, astronaut. It is my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Maureen won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate. I'm not supposed to be thrown out around like that. Can we use your signal scope, can we? Can we please leave and let you be it? Sure, let's play. Here's the rules. Yolanda and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Oh, oh, I was gonna close my real eyes. Ah, uh, I see you. Ah, I forgot that's not the jump button. Ah, I'm gonna die in the waterfall. Oh no! This is very tragic. Oh no! A hide and seek gone wrong. A real tragedy. In this small village. Ah, not again! Oh no! I'm in Neb. They should not have put me in charge of the space program. We're never gonna make it to Mars. I hear you. Found you. I saw it was super good. It was pretty good. <laughs> because of the parkouring. Okay. Where? Oh! Is that one different? It is different. It's faster. No! Are you on the roof? You're 18 meters this way. <gasps> I need to parkour. It was not the hide and seek challenge. It was the parkour challenge all along. When you make the jump button different... Wait, I was gonna say Hitman, but Hitman doesn't have a jump button, does it? <laughs> I have no excuse. I'm one, I'm happy. Thanks for playing. Oh, she's cute! Cute! I won? Is that it? I have no choice but to go in the rocket now. Fishing rod, fishing rod, singing helps me pass the time. 
Even the crater guests will all be a little busy without you around to lend a hand. That big water plant in Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. What is that? Oh, I'm looking for that guy. The harmonica. Isn't there, is this why there's wistful harmonica music? Because this guy is going to be main character. One time, after the rest of the village had left to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lays beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. Suddenly, Gabbro couldn't go any further. Tell me more. <laughs> well, I was just pausing dramatically. As though exercising a will of its own, all the water was... The water was refusing to let Gavro go any deeper. It held him back. It held them back, almost as if it were trying to protect them from something. And then in the terrible darkness, Gavro saw it. The tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! Is there sap wine involved during Gavro's campfire story? <laughs> no, I wanted to talk to you about, about the person whose name I may have forgotten. I'm sorry, they're probably very... He's probably a very sentimental character. Pivotal. To the plot, you see. The music is nice. I feel like I'm gonna come back here and cry. The Zero-G Cave. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were hatchling because ghost matter evaporates. Just takes a super long time to go away. Hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm a grown up. Ghost matter is awesome. Heck, I lost their foot. It's super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. <laughs> Touching it hurts so bad, it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Where's the ghost matter? Inside the fence is a pocket of ghost matter. This is like dark matter. Strange and dangerous substance is invisible to the naked eye. You can detect it with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hornfells, that's who we're looking for. My, my right bumper. My right bumper. Isn't, isn't that just so interesting? Right bumper. Primary tool action. Right bumper. <laughs> it's certainly there. It certainly works in the menu. Oh! It works! Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Let's play Not Cancel. It looks like Aurora Borealis. At this time of year? I know you're already typing it. I know. I see you. Don't think just because we're separated temporally that I don't know what you're thinking. I got my eye on you. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your lunch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? This is my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Remix Banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends on what time of day or night it is since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. I can zoom now. We can play the game. I hear nothing. But the void of space. Feeling kind of lonely. Everybody? I 
Anybody out there? Oh, I see. Hide and seek. Outer Wilds Ventures. All right. What's up here? The smoke coming from Young Bar Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tech tight. You're the one who lost your foot in the ghost matter. Um... Is this, is this what we're meant to be doing? Is this good? <laughs> Their instructions? The ruins? Quantum Grove Crater? Geyser Mountains? You know, maybe I shouldn't mess around with equipment that doesn't belong to me. And I don't know how to use. Come say hi to your old flight coach before you launch. I got zero G training to set up if you want a refresher. Gossin. Are you Gossin? Hey, thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater into the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. He knows I'm green. <laughs> they have gotten better. I think so, do you? Feel like proven it to your old flight coach? It was a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in the Zero-G cave in need of repairs. Well, last minute Zero-G practice, head down to the lift into the cave. One repaired satellite going right, come right up. Look, I'm doing the tutorials. Are you proud of me? <laughs> Ooh. This is pretty. Reminds me of the start of Starfield. Tee hee. Is it zero G down here? Oh, up here. Oh, can I have a... Oh, oh, my suit! Wait, a suit! Oh! Oh no! My trigger is sticky! Uh oh! Ow. Ow. Ah, is there fall damage? <laughs> In this world? <gasps> Who are you? Tough? I see you to drop down. Give me the dirt. Fresh dirt, not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tech Tide saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. It's new and different. How about that? They were on Firewatch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke, so they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, I'm kidding. I said the Tech Tide ones. Pretty rude how long they laughed for, if you ask me. <laughs> there a broken satellite down here <gasps> is this the broken satellite it's big i guess satellites are big you don't really think about it because they're so far away i think this big though last velocity matched ah oh Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm doing it. Ouch. Okay. You can, you can do this. Fauna, you can do this. <laughs> oh, don't get motion sick, please. Lock on. Uh-oh. Lock on. That's the right stick. I know left from right. <laughs> we can complete the tutorial. I believe. I 
have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. That was a loud one. Oh no, now I'm sniffly. Where's the last one? Oh. Oh, ah! Do I have, do I have like... Oh, I have fuel, oh no. Is it in here? It is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We can do it, I won't lose the tutorial. Let's get out of here. Ouch. Where am I? Ah! <laughs> oh no! Okay, just gently take me up, please. Gently. Gently. This is the wrong area. Okay, return the suit. Oh, look at the feet. Wait, no, this is the hands. <laughs> I thought they were cute monster feet. Like maybe I was a cute monster. I've done it and I'm useful to the village. I don't like elevators still. Not even in this beautiful setting. I did it. Will you praise me? <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurt hurtling through space, but just remember your training, try not to hit anything big. So you're to get off this rock, so get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there, and hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I've put so much time into training you. All right, I will do my best. Observatory this way? Didn't they say past the cave? Oh, this is probably the observatory. I guess this is past the cave. I thought I came from this way, but no. Is this the museum? Outer Wilds Ventures, founding members. Top left is Hornfells. That's who we're looking for. Boston, Slate, and Feldspar. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wilds Ventures, without whom we never would have gotten off the ground. <laughs> this name is not like the others. Are these the devs? These are like suspiciously like dev names. <laughs> these don't sound like alien names. Timber Heart's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldstar was the first to heart the to be intentionally launched intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Atla Rock. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day last, huh, buddy? It's Translator's Tools inaugural flight two. So excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want anywhere you are. Just the two of us. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. Oh, don't let me make you feel nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. Here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? Kepra brought it back with them from Giant's Deep, and Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display. Is it the cursed object he pulled up from the water of Giant's Deep? Maybe that was a fairy tale. Makes me wish we could go see what a real life Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out, looks like they have fur. Fur is weird. It's the first fully interact intact statue we ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Cool, and you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Are they extinct? 
This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antler antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system- Ooh, a mystery? Do I smell a mystery? We still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Crackpot theory time. They are our ancestors. <laughs> and they got all tomorrows into becoming us. I'm running with it until I get a better idea. <laughs> oh! We're nearly ready. Felix and I have finished construction. and She says calibrating the device won't take long. This piece of know my writing was essential. This... Is it like angles? Is it spirals? Central to deciphering their... They can contain that much information in this simple spiral? Though the text is linear, no my text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. It's like collaborative. Oh, I see. Fortunately, the Adler Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all, this time I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Oh, these are not... Hanya? <laughs> They're talking about our mood. These are our people. Are they not? Maybe... Not? They came to our moon? The Nomai? It says it's a text of Nomai. They visited our moon? And they had the same name for it that we have? Question mark? <laughs> Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated, decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And even if they were, how and why did they come here? Some of the questions. This is very fascinating. I would love to study alien biology. What you see here are parts of the Nomai skeleton. You can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and quite unusually, only three eyes. Only... The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The difference in the Nomai's anatomy, such their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Harthians couldn't have descended <laughs> No, my crackpot theory <laughs> dashed into the rocks so soon. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Just hydrating my lips. With chapstick, don't make it weird. <laughs> I said it weird. It was me who made it weird. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly to dramatically reduce the number of scouts lost to the depth of space. Mmm. I was wondering if they were going to explain that. It's very video gamey that you can just return it, but actually it's advanced alien technology. Crystal creates a local gravity distortion that's most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Whoa! We're Super Mario Galaxy. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. The music's getting a little scary. A 
If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called supernova. Some charts observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. The star's core contracts I'm reading out of order. <laughs> Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Space is so cool. It's so cool how we can know this. Just from, like, observing from so far away. So cool. Green Tower was built to receive transmissions from the DSAT space satellite. Still has the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. Made possible by the Deep Space Satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. To recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. It's cool how they... Oh, I thought this was a chimp. <laughs> it's not a chimp at all! But can't you kind of see it from over here? I like how much thought is put into the setting already. Strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react from conscious observation. Is this quantum mechanics? The level headed a. Um, um, <laughs> Why did I read this as a, as a noun? Why did I read this as a noun? Why did I read Among Us as a noun? The level headed Among Us. I guess it is a noun. What's a noun? Is it a noun? The level-headed. Not like a little <laughs> creature. <laughs> Realize there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Granville claims the rogue exists in all possible states until it is observed. It's the quantum superposition of the rock. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the debate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Oh, I see. When you look away. You can get it to move to whichever one you want. Is this going to be extremely, like, lore relevant? Perhaps. Did I see everything? Um... Yes? Question mark? Yes. Exclamation mark. Period. Up we go! Whoa! This is our solar system? Hourglass twins, giant steep, brittle, hollow, dark bramble. I want to go to... Oh, there's our moon. I want to go to Giant's Deep. I want to see the creepy ocean planet. Where is Hornfell? This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in this image were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. This image just covers a tiny patch of the whole sky, which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined. I think I need to sit down. And this is odd. According to my redshift calculations, every single galaxy in this image is moving away from us. In fact, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away. Is it because of the expansion of the universe? Oh yeah. <laughs> but if that's true, was everything closer together in the past? And how far back can we extrapolate? Did the universe have a beginning? We're doing science. There you are, I just finished pre-flight observations. And local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be the first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Know My. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? 
I'm gonna wing it. I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We barely scratched the surface of the Nomai riding in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We have no idea if they originated here, or traveled here, or why they disappeared. A tool of yours should prove indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. Uh-oh. I'm ready to die in space. No one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? Maybe it's lucky because now, like, what are the chances that I correctly predicted it? Here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Oh, is that our... That's the launch codes? I thought it would be, like, numbers. Beep. 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 Boop, boop. Beep. Beep. Boop. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, all ear users. That's my interpretation of that. Is there anything else up here? Okay. Let's skedaddle. Oh, wait. Did I not look at this? Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think it causes this spooky motion? They move on their own? What would cause this spooky motion? Gravity? Magnets? The moon, as it orbits our planet, the at at the rocks, gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now! Is that why my face is so asymmetrical? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, did I look at this? Yes, I did. Okay. Do I go all the way back now? Say goodbye to everybody. Hey, you're gone. Oh, that's spooky. Oh, <laughs> this is what I just did. Did you steal my memory? Did you just absorb my memory? Um, <laughs> well. That was spooky. And my other theory is that the Nomai are still alive. They're just hiding. Did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? Oh, the statue was doing what? So its eyes open and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? No. That statue is definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did. But why? Hornfell's tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open. Is that something a statue normally does? I don't think you're gonna get any answers from the museum statue. But Gabro said they were going back to Giant's Deep. Don't know what island they're on, though. Maybe they'd be able to tell you more? On the other hand, Gabro's, you know, Gabro. So maybe you're better off searching for more info on your own. Jeez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use our translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. We're not gonna cancel the launch to investigate this weird statue? We're just gonna go with it? Okay. Oh no! This is what I call a shortcut. Wait, it actually was a shortcut. I didn't mean a shortcut, though. That tree has got it coming. Swing by the moon and say hi to Esker for me. Why did some hard get... mean something? I'm good. Observatory. This way. They're playing the soulful music again. Is this a banjo? 
Bonna doesn't know musical <laughs> instruments. It's not an accordion. I'm ready. One more marshmallow wouldn't hurt, right? Ah! And so it's fine. I can doze off. No time for dozing. Uh oh. The music. It's making me emo and we haven't even started. Leaving my home planet. Is this thing gonna beam me up? Ah. Am I here? I'm here. Ship log. Timber hearth. Few entries. The one and only Hearthian village as well as the main source of explosions on the planet. No my such in the observatory opened his eyes and looked at me. Yes, zero G cave. A cave is the very center of Timber Hearth used by otherwise industry new astronauts. Okay. View entries. My text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device. Sounds like Esker is still stationed on Alley Rock. They've been by themselves for a while. Giants deep. Cool. I guess this game, I think I've heard it's pretty like open ended. You can explore however you feel. Oxygen refill, spot a tree, walk towards it, enjoy. This cheeky little expression. All right, I suit up. See beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. I can't remember all that. I'll pull up. Am I supposed to wear the suit while I fly this thing? Lift off, landing camera. I guess it's time for lift off. Uh oh. Oh. I don't know how to fly this thing. I'll be honest. Cool. Wait, here's the green one. Is that giant deep? What is this? If I fly into the sun, is that bad? That's the interlopal brittle hollow ember twin. That is giant deep. Equip signal scope. I don't hear any music. <gasps> Wait, that's a harmonica! Wait, isn't that our home? <laughs> I thought we we're looking for a guy with the harmonica. Have I misunderstood the task at hand? Oh. Wait, no, that's where we started. That's our home. Are you live? Harmonica guy? He has a name. <laughs> his name is Hornsby. That's not his name. Feld? No, that's the other guy. Uh uh. Can I. Am I doing it? Engage autopilot? Aligning flight trajectory. Okay. Do not feel like you have to fly it yourself. They invented autopilot for a reason. I'm about to beat the game. Just like this. How do I land? <gasps> How do I land? How do I land? Ah! No. 
That's not good. Can I fix it? I fixed it. Okay, it's so fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'm great at fixing things. Now. What's going on here? Any whistling? I heard whistling and harmonica. From here. Although, we're just about out of time for... <laughs> Hold on. This mystery we will investigate next time. As for me, I will investigate it right now because I'm going to record another episode of my Let's Play. <laughs> but you'll have to wait until it airs, which will be I don't know when. I'm sorry, I'm gloating to you because I get to play it right away and you have to wait, but I shouldn't gloat. For you are my beloved... Oh, the forest! You're my beloved saplings. Anyway, okay, there's mysteries abound! Mysteries afoot! Thank you for watching the first episode of my Let's Play. I hope you liked it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Fawn well.